So looking ahead now to another tough fixture, this time against Man United. Obviously, it's not going to be easy, but I caught up with Brad Jerno from Man United fanzine Republic of Mancunia to get his thoughts going into that match. Obviously, one of the teams that have beaten us this season are Man United. Back earlier in the uh, earlier in the campaign, you were two one winners at Old Trafford. I think Rooney was sent off that day as well. Can you remember much of that game? I do. Yeah, it was a very tough game. One of the toughest games that we had at Old Trafford this season. Uh, it was a daft sending off for Rooney, but even before then, West Ham played really well, uh, and we we considered ourselves pretty fortunate that day to get away with uh, the victory. I can remember a, a really good challenge by McNair towards the end, which prevented a certain goal. Uh, and yeah, as I say, I think we were we were playing quite well. It was early days under Van Hal, but it was still a bit of a fortunate victory. Uh, we were very happy to take the points. And then finally, Brad, the um, the fixture back at Upton Park. What are your predictions going into that match? Uh, I actually, I'm feeling pretty confident about this one. Um, I, I don't think there'll be too much in it, but I, I fancy us to to win the game. Uh, we've had a, a couple of better performances recently. Um, I'm hoping West Ham the form's not quite there at the moment. I think you've won one in the last six, um, but it, it's tight and it, it really could go over the way, to be honest. Excellent. Well, thanks, Brad. Um, best of luck for the game, but hopefully we um, we come out of Vixers. Um, no, it's great chatting. To you. <laughs> we'll see. No problem. Cheers, mate. So, following those comment, comments from Brad, what are your thoughts going into the game against Man United? It's a game that West Ham, uh, they've not been in the best run of form lately, so it's a game that West Ham want to get a result from and I think need to get a result from if, if they have any aspirations of, of finishing in that top six this year. Uh, it'd be a tough game. United, for me, although they've only lost one in 16, they've not been that impressive. Mm. So I think they're there for the taking. Louis van Gaal is getting results out of them. But I'm not sure about them at the back. I think they, they take chances. Um, so, obviously, going forward, they've got world-class players. But if West Ham can keep it tight at the back, which I'm sure um, they can, it's a game that it definitely can win, without a doubt. Well, would you agree with that? I'd agree. I mean, I'd take a draw if, uh, if you had to put it on me now. But, as I say, it's how we approach the game. If we're ambitious and we go for it and put it on them, then certainly they're vulnerable at the back. Uh, that absolutely, that, that's the case. Um, you know, so it's just a case of using using home advantage and really pushing home. But yeah, I'm I'm optimistic. I'll be very disappointed if we can't get at least a draw. Mm. Just on the Man United note, Matt, who's the best uh, Red Devil you came up against? Uh, I actually made my debut against Man United at Old Trafford against the treble team, and the, the midfield was Beckham, Skulls, Keane, Giggs. Uh, it's not <laughs> quite a few in there. Yeah. yeah so um, yeah, what side? I'd say. Giggs, I've always loved Giggs. Mm. I've played where I played as well, but what a player, what he's done for Man United, the trophies he's mm. won. Similar type of player to you. Yeah, I wouldn't say I was quite as good as him, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I always modelled my game on him and I always loved watching him play and uh, what a player. Mm. It says it all really, how, how good he was for Man United and only at one club as well. Well, now we're going to get a prediction from someone who didn't quite get it right last week, but has promised to be back on form this time around. It's the Iron Views resident tipster, Chris Predicts. Hi Liam, how are you doing? Very well, thanks Chris. We're um, in the studio with Matt and Will. How are you? Fine, oh, thank you, yeah. So I think to start off, we've got to ask you, what happened last week? You were uh, tipping us for a win, but we were far from getting anything like that result. Even a draw wasn't, uh, wasn't ever in the realms of possibility. So why did it go so wrong? Uh, it was just awful, to be honest. <laughs> First 10 minutes, I thought we started, but we were playing not too bad. But once we, as the game went on, we never had any like, attacking options. And I think once we lost our uh, Carol and Ginge, we were always up against it. So... Yeah, it's probably one of our worst displays away from home this season, I think. And do you think we're going to recover against Man United? I'm a West Ham supporter, so I'm always optimistic. So, yeah, I do. I think I really think we can win this. 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one again. I'll go for 2-1 again. OK. Who's scoring this time? Well, I'm going to go for uh, Sacco and uh, Valencia. Sacco and Valencia? I think... Yeah. Yeah, I think defensively they're still suspect, Man United. I think if we can bit of pace going forward, I think we can cause some trouble. Well, um, Sacco first scorer at seven to one sounds like a pretty good bet. Um, Will, what do you think? Well, I think at looking at the odds there, um, if if I was looking at it objectively as a as a punter, 
I'd say either laying Man United at, at evens, so i.e. getting the West Ham win or a draw, uh, is a good price. Uh, but if you were asking me for a banker, I'd say both teams to score at 8-11. to 11. Um, I think Sacco 7-1 to 1 is, uh, is not a bad little pump for, for first scorer. But, um, yeah, probably colours to the mask, West Ham plus one on the Asian handicap, 5-6. to six. That's my pump. Excellent. So everyone's feeling very positive. Well, Chris, you better not let us down two weeks in a row. So the pressure's on. Let's hope you're right. Yeah, let's hope so. It won't be on next week. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, this, this is your last Come shot. on, you are. We can do it. Nice one. See you later, Chris. Thank you. Cheers. See you, man. See ya. What do you think of that prediction? Bold. Mm. But got to be confident, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I like the optimistic uh, fans, so mm -hmm. definitely. Is it every chance that can happen? I, I, I fancy a score draw, personally, but what do I know? <laughs> well, just to wrap up for this week, Matt, what are your plans for the future? Because I'm sure all West Ham fans will be very keen to know what you're getting up to now. Uh, not a lot, really. I'm, I'm doing my coaching badges uh, in the summer. I'm doing a little bit of media work here and there. Uh, just had a little baby girl, so I'm watching her grow up, which is amazing. Mm. Uh, when you're a footballer, you, you, a lot of time is consumed, obviously, playing, so you don't see your kids grow up. And luckily enough, uh, she was born in August, so I'm, I'm watching her grow up now. Uh, she's six months, and you know that's priceless. So uh, more of that and uh, see what happens in the future. I'm in no rush to do anything at the minute. I'm not um, you know, nailing my colours to, to any mouse. I'm, I'm just going to go with the flow and see what happens and, and, and take it from there. Well-deserved, timed off, I Thanks, think mate. everyone would agree. Excellent. Well, thank you to all my guests this week. Thanks to Matt, thanks to Will, and my two Skype callers, Brad and James. And of course, thank you to Chris Predicts. I think the only thing that's left to say is come on, you irons. Come, come on, on you irons. irons.